What's up, everybody, and welcome back for another Big Easy Bets college basketball play today. It's Thursday, March 7th. Conference tournaments are getting going. We're feeling good, but we could be feeling better. We go 1-0-1 last night. We push on Houston minus 8. UCF couldn't miss to start the game. Houston couldn't buy a shot. Going into halftime, I felt like that wasn't sustainable and the tides would turn. They did. Houston got back into the game, and then uh, they end up winning by 8. I think they missed 7 or 8 free throws in the second half. Um, so I, it's like you... Are disappointed that you don't cover but at the same time feel kind of fortunate to push uh because they did not look the best uh but tennessee covered the number four is minus five and a half that one was a little sweaty there down the stretch way way sweatier than it should have been it looked like tennessee was going to pull away uh south carolina has a meaningless three to cover they miss it they get a put back dunk i'm talking with tenths of a second i thought it was good they go review it it doesn't count uh so we get a winner there so one oh and one on the night we're feeling good we're back today uh like i said conference tournaments are getting going here we're gonna have three plays today starting it off with murray state taking on missouri state March Madness isn't here yet, but Arch Madness is here. Uh, these are pretty two evenly matched teams. The one glaring advantage appears to be from Missouri State in the rebounding category. Uh, they're 39th in the nation in rebounds per game. They really crash the glass. They don't allow many second chance opportunities. But these two teams have played twice before. First time, Missouri State was a minus five and a half point favorite. Uh, they lost by 24 points. The second time, Murray State was a small favorite. They won by 10. Murray State won the rebounding battle in both of those games. Neither team has a lot of size here. Uh, the main low post player from Missouri State, N.J. Benson, has a problem with getting into foul trouble. If we see that again, life's going to be easier on the boards for Murray State, uh, who don't shoot the ball very well from anywhere. So it, it, it's tough scoring for, uh, for them. So add in a neutral site. Uh, really one key player is 35% from the three-point line. Outside of that, nobody is touching that percentage. Uh, all the guards are right around 40% from the field. This comes down to I trust Murray State more in terms of scoring the ball on a neutral site, so we are going to lay the two and a half uh, with the Racers. Second play, ULL uh, taking on Coastal Carolina, Louisiana Lafayette versus Coastal Carolina. It's another neutral site, typically means tough shooting nights. You pair that with UL's number one perimeter defense. I expect points to be hard to come by for Coastal. Defensively, Coastal's given up nearly 79 points per game. Uh, UL won the first matchup by eight. They didn't cover the number. I think they were 10 and a half point favorites in that one, uh, but even with that, I'm going to lay the minus 12 here. Uh, I just think UL's the superior defense. Pair that with a coastal defense that has a hard time stopping people. Uh, it's a big number, but we're going to go ahead and lay it with the Raging Cajuns minus 12. Our third and final play of the night. This one's going to be fun. Rutgers taking on Wisconsin. Um, we're back on a game that involves the Badgers. Let's be honest, both of these teams stink. Uh, Wisconsin's lost three of the last four when it was really time to turn it on for a late postseason push. They couldn't do it. Rutgers, outside of curb stomping Michigan in the midst of their losing streak, they beat the crap out of Michigan. Uh, they've lost four out of their last five. So there used to be a time where it was really tough to go to Wisconsin and win a basketball game. Let's get back to that tonight. We're going to lay the nine and a half with the Badgers. A.J. Storr, give them the ball early and often. Go do what you do. They have the best player on the court in terms of scoring the ball. Uh, they have the best low post presence in this game. you got Crowell, you've got Wall that can kind of do it all. On paper, Wisconsin should win this game easily. But they seem to just kind of shoot themselves in the foot time and time again. So we are going to lay the nine and a half with Wisconsin. It is now or never for the Badgers. Three plays today. To recap, we're going Murray State minus two and a half, ULL minus 12, and Wisconsin minus nine and a half. Let's try to keep it going. Keep making some money. The tournament is almost here. Good luck. Thanks.